Hi folks, in video 195 I showed how to create a button to select the top 5 and top 10 uh, item numbers based on sales or top 5 values, top 10 values. In this one I'm going to show you a very simple way of selecting the bottom 5 and bottom 10. So if we go into this button that selects the top 10, we can simply copy this expression. We can then go into our select the bottom 10 sales, add an action. It's a selection, select and field. The field in this case is item number, so we just click paste, it's already selected. Paste our expression, and then if we just put a minus in front of the sum part of the expression, and then click OK, it will then, we can select our top 10, and then we should be able to select our bottom 10. And there you have it. So it's, it's again, we can do the same with the select top five, not that one, let's take the top 10. We'll copy that expression Go into our select button 5, add an action, select a field which is the right number, just paste because it's already selected. Paste our expression, put the minus in front of the sum so we get the bottom 5, and then just change our rank part, our rank expression, click OK. Now we can select the bottom five sets. So now we've got top five and bottom five. I could just add a, a clear to those. But now if we, um, we clear this just briefly before the, we finish this video, if we look into, if we remove the if part of this expression, just so you're aware, and then remove the item number. So now the expression is okay, and rather than return the result of the five item numbers, we'll actually read with, like evaluate the expression itself. So you can see all the minus ones are what we're looking for. And again, if we go back into properties and just change this expression, that's why it's quite handy to test expressions in a straight table. We can go back in here and just add our if part to this and it should return so we're saying if the rank of the sum of sales aggregated by item number is less than or equal to five then return the item number click ok and then we'll see that we'll get the the item numbers within our within our string we then use that expression we, co we can copy that and then use that to select and fill our top five values that's it i hope i've explained that all correctly and i'll see you next video cheers